So guys, it's that sad. Is it mukbang or mukbang? I say mukbang. No one knows. No, I think it's both. I mean, honestly, I should know because we're going to doing a whole series of it. But I would say mukbang. Oh my god, my key three. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a mukbang of everything is so hard to say until it's in your own routine like you'll just figure it out like i tried to juggle is the perfect word yeah so like, what we're talking about is like i'm routine and katie's like i'm not. just winging yeah, it winging. winging it every time i'm like <laughs> routine like i started with my kids like routine like <laughs> yeah and then all of a sudden today they're both so happy smiling playing together giggling together and i was like yes like these are the moments that i do it for <laughs> yeah like, What was it? Barra? And then we've got, I don't know if that was the tartare. Yeah. Might be. May have baked it. May have baked it. Then we've got some potato scallops. Yeah. Some prawn cutlets. And at the front we've got some yeah. calamari, some chips. Then of course it wouldn't be a mukbang without some dessert. So we're going with some cheesecake shop. Yeah. Um, it's caramel. How good is a cheesecake shop, eh? So good. Can't go fast. No, yeah. so good. So that one was a caramel cake of some kind. Some bud cake, I think. And then we've got the apple crumble baked cheesecake and some donuts. Yum. So we're definitely going to be full. Mm -hmm. We haven't had breakfast. Mm -mm. <laughs> it is about, what, like 11, maybe 10 uh -huh. Just as long as I don't have breakfast at like 5 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. I know, I was thinking that. I was like, I'm going to tell her not to eat breakfast. And I'm like, that's going to be a long way yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you guys don't know, this is the lovely Kiara, the Aussie mum blogger. <laughs> I'm sure most of you will know her. You guys have been messaging me a lot about collabing with her. And of course, it's been a dream, so I'd love to. Um, so today, we're going to be talking about a hot topic that you guys wanted to know and ask about over on Instagram, which is two under two. This we, is what it's like. Yeah, literally, <laughs> I was saying that before, like we've just tried to plan something and both the kids didn't want to work, like my Winnie's over in the pram over there, he wanted to feed, and now we've got Linky joining us, so yeah. this is just what it's like. And those it of you is. that have it know. Yeah, it really just, just wing it 90% of the time. Yeah, you really <laughs> do, like you make plans, you go out with friends for coffee. And, and that's then, when it always happens, as yes. soon as you start to make plans, it's like, nah, that's, where you, that's where you go wrong. Yeah, well I had, I had plans <laughs> yesterday to meet up with another mum. Yeah. And literally, Darcy fell sick, and I was like, right, this is it. This is yeah. my life. I'm just in these four walls. <laughs> so let's dig in because I'm yeah. bloody hungry. Me too. Oh, I also don't have my phone, which is kind of integral for oh, questions. Yeah, oh, I asked questions too. I oh, did you? Oh, oh, perfect. Let's start out with one of your questions. Do you remember what I said before? Yes. I'm like, I struggle so hard to open these. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, oh, you got it. <laughs> it's like a celebration. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, that's good. Oh, that's so good. I've so known these for ages, oh. except if it's got vodka in it. Yes. <laughs> I think you're happy you have a stick and then you put yeah. the vodka in. Yeah. Okay, um. so let's start with the first question, which is by, let's just start from the bottom. Ashley Thompson asks, big adjustment from one kid to two. <laughs> yes. Holy dooly. Somebody said to Kurt, like, is it doubly as hard? And Kurt said, it's like triply as hard. Like, it's so much harder. Yes. Than harder you than you think. think, yeah. Because the like toddlers, I think toddlers are probably half harder work than newborns, I'll say. Mm. Not like that in between age, but then I don't know, it's just chaos. Yeah. It's just chaos. Well when I first had Darcy, I thought that was hard. Mm. And then I've had now Winnie yeah. and Darcy and I'm like, oh it's a blur. <laughs> this is a, this is a dream. Yeah. I know. Okay, bye -bye. Right, we've now got all babies <laughs> in the picture. Yeah. This is just so oh, what mum life is. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm going to be digging in. Don't mind me, I'm bloody hungry. I'm so hungry. <laughs> this is so good too. Yeah, isn't it? You, uh, your recommendation, well, I, I found it, but then I asked you if it was good. Mm. And literally, the service Amazing. was nice. And, yeah. Mm. But yes, yeah, the question, is it hard just to one to two? Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when, like, you've got friends that have got more than one kid too. Like I find if I'm around them and there's like four kids, mm -hmm. it's like guaranteed. No conversation. Or like nothing will get done. Like for oh, today, yeah. for an example, like there's three of them and mm -hmm. between the three of them, there's pretty much one that's always like, Need I you. want this, yeah. I want that. Yeah. Could you imagine if I brought Darcy? Oh my God. Oh my God. But maybe Darcy and Miller might've played. 
Maybe. Maybe, but Darcy tends to get like bored quite easily. Yeah, okay. So he'll be like, oh, this is fun and exciting for 10 minutes. And yeah. then, mummy, I want to pull it out and play. Yeah. I want to go run or... See, I will say, these two now, they're starting to get to a really nice age where it's really hard at the start. Mm. But now, they'll actually play together. Like this morning, probably half an hour, they're laughing their head off. She's like oh, pulling him around on the, like, on the rug and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're both happy as can be. I was like, this is amazing. Like, one thing starts. So she's almost three. Wow. Yeah. Three in like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So for those of you that may not follow Kiara, she had two under two. 22 months exactly the same as me. And um, I remember watching your vlogs and you were saying how hard it was like to adjust and like trying to get back yeah. into the rhythm of vlogging and yeah. doing everything. And yeah. that is such a tough adjustment. It is. And that's what I was saying. So amazing that you're even here. Because yeah. <laughs> I was like at the start, I was like, this is so hard. It, it all comes yeah. down to like passion, doesn't it though? Like that's if you want to do something, you will. Yeah. Amanda, sorry, I'm going to butcher people's names. Amanda Lee Cleland asks, how do you prioritize healthy eating and exercise <laughs> while juggling kids? I find it tough. Sorry, I laugh because ironic <laughs> <laughs> not healthy one little bit no. but um i mean go ahead like <laughs> so um with the healthy eating part i just find being prepared like i honestly pretty much have the yeah. same breakfast and lunch like every day and i'm i'm not a fussy eater like i eat anything and everything um so yeah probably not having bad food in your cupboard helps a lot because as soon as it's there i'll just eat it like i'll devour the whole thing or um, friends are being around with bad yeah, food. Yeah, and gym is a struggle. I go through phases where I'm being really good and I'm going a few times a week and I, I go down when the, I go to the gym when the kids go down to sleep at night. Mm. Um, but then like at the moment, I haven't been like the last month because there's just been so much going on. Mm -hmm. So it goes through phases and that's okay. I just kind of go with it. If I get to go a couple times, I'm like, hell yeah, it's a win. But if not, then mm. it's not the end of the world. Yeah. yeah. Jim, do you remember trying to walk outside? See if yeah. he's on. Yeah. He's, he's so funny like that. Like as soon as he hits outdoors, he's just like, yeah, that's so good. Just the same you hold him, go for a walk. Yeah. He walks outside. If I have any issues, it's like, right, let's go to the park. Yeah. The park fixes everything. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, okay. Right. Where were we? What yeah, were we talking so about? Yeah. So healthy eating. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, early days, I didn't even care what I ate. If somebody brought me over like a ready-made food and it was the worst thing I could ever eat, I was like, you are amazing. Like just having food there is yeah. just the best thing ever. Yes, I um, agree. But I think just finding a few go-to easy meals that are healthy and easy to make and nothing that takes like time. Yeah. yeah. Well, my favorite thing at the moment is you foods. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the only thing that gets me through healthy eating because yeah. I just don't have the time to plan. No. Like I, well, I technically have the time to plan, yeah. but I don't have the time to cook it and yeah. prepare it. Yeah. So like if I'm, li I literally, when Elle gets home, I will be on my couch. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh my God, this is making me really happy. <laughs> um, so I tell Elliot, like I'm from, with the kids from like 7 a.m. Yeah. Till 7, well, 6-ish p.m. Yeah. Depending when he comes home. But I said to him, like, once you get home, it's my clock off. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's around the time that you have to post on Instagram as mm -hmm. well. So I'm like, it kind of takes me away from do you life. post the same time on Instagram when you post on that? I try to. I yeah. try to do it around 7 See, I'm so bad. I'll be like, post 5 o'clock in the morning, post it at 10 o'clock in the day, right. post it. But now you say that the time it usually goes best is when I do it in the evening. Yeah. yeah. So I've had a look at my insights and it says about 7. Yeah. But it kind of works well because the kids are in bed at yeah. that time and yeah. it's just time for me to like relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do, so every morning I do oats and protein powder. Mm. Literally pour it in a bowl, put hot water in. So when I make my coffee, I make it. So it takes two seconds. Yeah. Um, Eggs are really good because they keep you full and that, but it's just like the prep, it does take a bit longer. Yeah. Probably couldn't have managed that when they were like that young. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of, he's now dropped off some up in the frame. Oh my god, we keep <laughs> free. <laughs> we did a freaking holiday. I'm sitting here going, I can't breathe. Mm. <laughs> but this is what it's like. I, I literally cannot keep saying this, but it is my day. Perfect example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's so, so glad that she's got through the same thing. Because mm. <laughs> I'm like, it, you do feel like when you're at home, I was saying this before to Kiara. Mm -hmm. When you're in your four walls of your lounge room with the two kids and they're driving you insane, mm -hmm. it can be such a lonely place. Yeah. And that's why we, I get out. I try and get out every single day. And that's why I started YouTube. I felt yes. so lonely. I felt so, and I wanted to share my story about Miller, but the main reason was I just wanted to connect to other people because mm. no one was sharing back then. I don't no. feel like I really knew anyone who was sharing about like motherhood or I didn't know anyone. I had no friends that had kids, none. So yeah, I was, like, I was exactly the same. We were yeah. the first in my. I feel like I keep saying that. Yeah. It's like I'm copying her all the time, but it's seriously yeah, true. Yeah. Like friend group I to have first friend. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 26. Yeah. Yeah. So same age. Oh really? Yeah. When's I'm 26 birthday? in like three weeks. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm 26 in November. So yeah. that's so funny. Yeah. I said three weeks. I think it's even. I think it's like a week. Oh, I don't even know. Time flies. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. Time flies when you have kids. Yes. <laughs> Not fun. No. <laughs> we can't make it sound so 
so bad, don't we? No, oh but God. it's the truth. Like, I feel like this is what I needed to watch, and this is why mm. I wanted to do this series because it's ultimately not just like my opinion because mm -hmm. I can have one experience, but it's yeah. about bouncing it off everyone. And like I was saying to you, I feel like mm. if we had a little bit of a larger gap, so not two under two, would be a lot more manageable. Yeah, I'd say another six months mm -hmm. would be mm -hmm. almost perfect, but then I'm sure, but well, I suppose you've been through it with Miller, so I wouldn't know, but yeah. Darcy's is just about to hit two. And the amount of time it gets um, hard. Well, the two months since when he's yeah. been born, I would say he's changed more than he did the previous eight months. If that makes yep. any sense. Um, it is changing. Yeah, yeah. Like he is now running faster than ever, but he's also mm -hmm. talking a lot more and he's starting to like. Yeah. He's starting to tell me he wants to do the toilet. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like tra toilet training? I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So yeah, I. I like the two under two, but at the same time, I think I should have waited maybe six months. Yeah, and my mum warned me. She was <laughs> like, because you know, I actually fell pregnant when Miller was nine months old. Oh, really? I had the ectopic pregnancy. Yes, of course And she's she. like, like after, like, after all of it, she's like, it's going to be really hard if you, like, do and have a small gap. Yeah. She's like, I've seen my friends do it, and, it, like, you know, it was, like, it's fine, but mm. it is just that little bit tougher. If you wait another six months to a year, it'll make things a lot easier. And um, of course I didn't listen to my mum. <laughs> I wanted a baby and I wanted it now. I was like, no, I just want to have a sibling for her. Like I wanted to have someone to play with. And like, like I said, it is starting now to get to that point where I'm like, hell yes. Like this morning, it's been hard lately because both of them have been tag team sick. Like someone's been sick constantly. Mine's terrible for that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden today, they're both so happy, smiling, playing together, giggling together. And I was like, yes, like these are the moments that I wanted. Do it for. And <laughs> too. Yeah. Like, you know, be your first. You want them to have that little bit of fun and I don't know it's like a best friend every day yeah, yeah. well Darcy's has like been smitten with oh, Winnie since he's so born. Nice. yeah and I was not expecting it no like he's always a, such a loving boy but I kind of thought you can go one way or the other yeah. I find yeah yeah I was like it doesn't really matter what his personality is like it's kind of how he's just gonna take having another person in the house yeah um, but he asks for baby more than he asks for me oh that is so cute yeah so like the other day I came home yeah. from the shops with Winnie and I walked in the door and he's like, baby, baby. Aww. And I'm like, don't worry, I haven't forgotten baby. And the same when I went to daycare to pick him up the other day. And I had Winnie out in the pram in the corridor because it doesn't fit in the room. Yeah. And I went in to get him and he, first of all, not even like, hi, mama. It was just, baby. That's <laughs> so yeah. cute. It's sweet, but yeah. he is struggling a lot with um, like learning to be gentle. Did you have the yeah. same with Miller? Yeah. She's getting so rude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just a TV. Yeah. She doesn't get that often, so when she gets it, she's like, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. It's much more depressing at the moment, so he gets oh, all the time. At the start, though, it was like that, for oh, sure. Oh, really? Because you feel so guilty. I did, um, I did like, a um, box for her to play with, special box, only yes. when I had breakfast. I made the same thing, but yeah. now I've found that he knows everything in the box. He knows everything in the box. Anymore. But also, uh, he knows where it is. Oh, so yeah, see, I put it away and I said you only get it when I'm feeding baby. Right. See, yeah. my problem is, like, because the baby's obviously screaming at that mm -hmm. point by the time you need the box, so I'm having to carry him and I can't really carry the box too, so I've slid oh. it under the couch, similar to your couch. And he just grab it out. He just grabs it out. So, um, yeah. he forgets about it though, like, he yeah. does forget about it. But the problem is I've chosen activities that kind of need... A towel laid down yeah. on top? Um, a what? what? A towel laid down under it? Um, no, it's just crayon, like, uh... Pencils, yeah, but he likes to go and grab them and take them around the house and then I can't control no, when no. they're like going on the wall Once because we're yeah. renting again. Yeah. We were owning and I wouldn't have cared one little bit, but now yeah. I'm like being super vigilant. Yeah. So, yeah. I used to do like rice, like all, it was really messy. Oh, but I'd lay a towel down first, just, I had it on the kitchen bench there, grab it on my way, sit her down and then start feeding him and like just watch her play with it. And she just sort of like rice cups for ages. Oh. Oh, and I put little animals in the house, like dig it in, she'd like dig for the little animals. Because I've got like a little kitty tray. Perfect. So it'd be perfect, perfect. for rice. I should yeah. try that. I'd give it a go. <laughs> Some somebody, tips. Somebody on um, Instagram recommended it to me and I'm like, that is the best thing ever. I do follow a few of those like kid accounts where yeah. they like, suggest little play things, but yeah. I'm just terrible and this is going to sound so bad, but I am oh, quite God. lazy when it comes to like the clean up. I yeah. hate cleaning up. Well, that's why I put a towel down, so I was like grab it all right. and like, shove it outside. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but I mean, that's just honesty, like mm -hmm. complete honesty because mm -hmm. like I, at the end of the day, you don't really want to be mm -hmm. spending an hour feeding, like going either side, yeah. changing the nappy, because I have at least two or three nappy changes with Winnie yeah. between feeds. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, now I've finished feeding and I've got to go and clean up this exhausting yeah. mess. It's never ending, you know? No, it it's is never ending. So then yeah. you're kind of like, oh, maybe today we'll just do a sticker book. Yeah. And then like you kind perfect. of like, yeah. Perfect. 
It works for a day, yeah. and then the next day yeah, they're like, no, I was I'm bored. Yeah. yeah. And How good is it? At mm. 7 o'clock when you hit your bed, though. Like, oh, you know, it's like all day, like, go, 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 go. It's funny, though. And then you hit the bed, and your partner's like, oh, no, 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 I love you, I love you, but, like, just five minutes, please, like, five minutes. I said to Elle, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I actually apologised to you today. I was like, I feel like I'm not giving you, like, any of me. And when he goes, I totally get it. Yeah. You have nothing more to give at the moment. Like, you get to that point where you're just like, oh, you're just exhausted. Yeah. Plus, like I said, you've got all this stuff that you're doing, like, yeah, and I was the exact same. I didn't have one day break from when I had Linky. Like, I was only uploading three days a week, but, like, literally the day I had him, I was on my computer. And Hila wasn't in before. daycare then, was she? No, she, that's only been, like, two months. Yeah. I don't know how you did it. Cause it's I don't know how I did it. Yeah. I don't. That's what I always say. I'm like, I don't know. I think it comes down to oh. the passion that we were talking about. Yeah. Like, you have to want to do it. I loved it. And as soon as I would film things, I'm like, oh, I, like, I'm the type of person, like, I just can't wait to edit it. Yeah. Like, once I finish filming, it's like, after this, if the kids nap at the same time oh my gosh please <laughs> i'll be like sweet sit down start editing today's mm-hmm. vlog like i love yeah seeing what i can do with what i that just got. shows that you love what you do because like yeah. if you aren't excited to edit what you've done you're not it's not a good enough video do you yeah. know what i mean yeah and i got jamie in and i was initially going to get her to like teach her parts of editing and then i'm like i can't go with that mm. jamie's her pa by the way yeah she's helping out at the moment she's got linky mm. <laughs> um she's gorgeous She's beautiful. Mm. And anyways, I was like, so that has been something that's been a game changer. Mm. That only happened like three weeks ago. That has been a massive game changer for me, just getting some help. Mm. Um, but And not feeling like you need favours from family, because that's yeah. how I feel. Yes. When I ask for favours, I'm like, oh, but I yeah. feel bad, it's not their responsibility. Yeah. And... and I always wanted to do the editing, but I'm like, that's one thing I can let go of and easily yeah. like teach someone else and blah, blah, blah. And then Jamie started and I'm like, I'm, I don't want to let go of it. I love doing it. Mm. Like, I love doing it. It's just usually it's a time poor thing. It's like I don't have time, but if she's here and can help me with other things, mm. I can find the time to do that, what I still love. So it's exactly so, right. It's trying yeah. to find that balance. So we were saying it all. before as well. Like we've, we've kind of been chatting a bit before, yeah. still, because obviously <laughs> the kids were a bit unsettled. Yeah. But basically, yeah. oh my god, I've had a mum brain moment. Mum brain. Oh, I have them all the time. What would you say? Every set. I can't even remember. <laughs> dropped something or I did something, I can't remember yeah. exactly oh, what it was. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens. So, oh, well, something I've actually never really said before, but growing up, I had my, my parents swore a lot. Like, oh, really? And I always knew I'm not allowed to swear, mm. unless you're an adult. Mm-hmm. So they swore and stuff, and then I would say, and they go, you're not allowed to say that unless mm-hmm. you're an adult. That's and a great we, idea. none of us girls ever swore mm. until we became adults. Like, we were really respectful of it. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like they can see us drink alcohol, but we don't. I don't know. I can't yeah. think of it. I can't it like that. Like, mm-hmm. I just kind of think, I don't know. Something that you can do when you're Sometimes adult. I'm careful of what I say. Mm. Like, the worst thing I really say usually is, like, shit, anyway. Mm-hmm. Or, like, yeah, if I kick my toe or something, usually it's where it pops out. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Like, it's just one of those things if they mm. feel like sometimes. I don't know. Well, I was raised in a house sometimes. that didn't really swear. Yeah, okay. Um, but then... I don't you want know. to be rebellious. Well, <laughs> I don't know, but when we moved to Australia, things just kind of changed. So I'm from the UK, and my family moved over when I was about 12. Yep. And then when we moved into the sticks, and I'm talking sticks, like mm-hmm. it was nowhere near anything. I don't know, but mum just kind of got slack with it a little bit. Yep. And now, in my adult life, it's kind of like I've gone the opposite way. Right, yeah. Okay. Where I'm like, I'll swear all the time, because Elliot and I have been together. And it's not that you mean to like swear no. in a bad way, it's just like it emphasises things sometimes when yes. you're in conversation. It's just sometimes they can't get the same I level. think it's a very Australian thing. Yeah, very I think so Australian, as well. Like, yeah. It's not, like certain things, people like can't believe that I leave my house without my shoes on. I'm like, are you kidding? I'm like, walk around my pajamas without shoes on all the time. Like, I yeah. honestly would go down to Coles easy at nine o'clock at night, no shoes, pajamas, wouldn't even blink enough. Yeah, well, the postie before was like, I'm surprised you're not wearing your pink slippers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the postie came, I was like, hey, I was, I was wearing my pajamas yesterday when he came. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, you think you just have like a, a pajama life? Um, I do have my pajamas on 90% of the time. <laughs> so do I. Do you know when you're like filming up close and yeah. then they sit down below and you've got your jump pants on, you're like, hmm. No, oh, and now I'm like, nah, I'm glad I changed. <laughs> Did the oldest kid ever have trouble adapting to having a sibling? My two and a half year old still isn't a hundred percent with it. I haven't had a trouble with it, but a friend of mine who's in one of my mum groups has. 
Yeah. And you're still early days. Yeah. So things could shift a little bit. Exactly. You know? And that's what and that's exactly right. Like mm. you just don't know what could happen. He struggled with mm. Elliot because mm -hmm. he's such a daddy's boy. Yeah. Um so when like he would hold Winnie, he really struggled with that. Like super bad. But yeah. now we've kind of taught him that he can sit on the couch and get cuddles yeah. with Winnie at the same time yeah. as Elliot when he gets home. And now he says cuddles. He's like, cuddles, Aww, cuddles. So he asks for it. So all I'd say is if they're struggling, maybe just try and involve them yeah. in the activities. Yeah. But I mean, I haven't been there, so I can't say any particular yeah. tips. Miller went through a rough phase. She went through a phase where she was like obsessed with him at the start. She was so like just doted over him. Oh, okay. Loved him. And then a little bit down the track, she was like, Oh, can we leave Lincoln like, at home? Like stuff like little comments like that, like, oh, does he have to come? And I was like, yeah, like he does, he's your brother. Mm -hmm. They um, probably start to realise that it hinders their pleasure. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm like, everything we do to now, we just do together. Mm -hmm. You guys are okay? Anthony Millen, it's not nice. He, he's so bad at pulling hair. Yeah, pull her hair. Oh, see, this is the sibling love. Yeah. When they get a bit older, they yeah. crawl over, pull her hair. <laughs> now he's tickling her feet. And he's <laughs> looking at you like, maybe yeah. I'd pull her hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not nice. Yeah, she knows. Aww. But yeah, then I think it's just, you know, adapting. Mm. Yeah. And some kids really do struggle. Yeah. Really do struggle. And I think, you know what, I think it was at about that age, two and a half years, when Miller hit about two and a half years, I feel like that's kind of when um, things got a little bit more linky. Things got a little bit more tricky. <laughs> I can see him like slapping her on the back. Do you think oh. that's because, you know, um, Linky got to a certain age where he could almost Play a bit more with her. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, probably right. So now, like, she's a bit more excited. Like, every morning wakes up. Oh, where's Linky? Is Linky awake yet? Mm. Like, she just wants to play with him. Yeah. Whereas yeah. before, it was almost just like a doll. It yeah. Was, like, just cries. And, and loves really all the time. Yeah. yeah. And vomits. How? I'm um, sorry. This is by Christy Brock. How to cope with a newborn and a toddler when partner's two week leave is up? Oh, that's hard at the start. Yeah. It's scary at the start. I was. Wrapping my hands. My hands. Yep. <laughs> because you know, like you know, I'm just gonna start it's digging still, into yeah. the desserts yeah. too, by the way. It's still so hard, even with them at home, and you're like, mm. how am I gonna do this on my own? And you go, it's, it's really It's scary. hard when they're home. Yeah. So it's like when they leave, yeah. you're fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like you're right in front of me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Holy moly, that's great. We've got mm. chunks of stewed apple in it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm excited. That is like the do you bomb. Use a fork, that? Do you use a He's supposed to use a fork, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get dessert forks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I use a spoon. But well, when you're all fancy, yeah, in a fancy maybe. restaurant, you get two forks. Wearing no shoes. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you get two forks like this, one's smaller and one's bigger, and then they sit this that way. That is correct. And you eat the outside in. Look oh at me gosh. being all legit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should have probably used a spoon, but. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, that one. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna try that one. Well, please try that one. No, I tried this one. Mm. The apple. This one's caramel. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so so good. Oh, oh my god! Eh? Yeah. It just touched my tongue, and I'm like, mm. that is the best thing I've probably ever had. Holy. I want that for my birthday cake. Kurt, take note. Birthday cake, please. <laughs> <laughs> yep. God, that's good. Mhm. Mm this is why, guys. Baby body comeback has not been a thing. Oh, mm. you need to come and get what you're breastfeeding. Mm. Right, what's the next one? How do you have time for yourself with having two bugs? You're a super mum. Oh, that's so nice. Aww. Um, I feel like I go insane sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And um, like, people say that, they're like, they're like, you're a super mum, or you really got this, but you know what? You see like a snippet. Mm. And we don't really pull out the camera, not because we don't want to, but because we literally don't have the hands to. Sometimes, when bad times. Yeah. Well, I guess you probably do more so than me because you vlog a lot more. But yeah. Whereas I do a lot more sit down videos. See, on my um, camera, I've constantly got a little tripod. So if like, I know something's going to be hectic, like say in the morning, Miller's being really needy and, I, and Lincoln's still in his cot, I'll quickly like chuck it on. Right you are really good at that. I'm terrible in the moment. I'm just like, Panic sections, oh. leave the camera, just get this. Oh, sorted. yeah, you know and I mean? it depends on the severity, mm. I guess. Like, yeah. if I know that, like, they're all okay. And sometimes I'm just literally filming and it mm. all starts, like, all hell starts to really loose. And then I'm like, yes. oh my god. I love when that happens, though, because it does show just how quickly it can Everything change. can change, mm. yeah. You have to make it, you have to mm -hmm. schedule it. And <laughs> may not go to plan. Yeah. <laughs> no. And not necessarily wanting to do, like, big tasks. Like, sometimes it's just taking five minutes to whack a face mask on before yes. bed. Or paint your toenails. Or That's something I've learned. Think of the two things I need to do. <laughs> yeah. But, like, my list is about ten things long. Yeah. And Ellen and I tried to tackle that ten list thing the other weekend. Yeah. 
didn't work. No. You get one or two things done that's if you're great. lucky. Yeah, yeah. That's so great. that's what you have to kind of like yeah, adjust yeah, to is like actually and doing things with the kids you like doing. Like if you like, I love being outdoors and doing stuff. Sometimes that's like take Link outside, like posing with plants, or like you know what I mean, take him outside and go chill in the sun, put on some music, and mm. I don't know. Sometimes as well, you get a little bit scared thinking your baby's gonna crack it when you do certain things, yeah. but they're actually okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. At your scheduled time for yourself, I take that first hour when Elle gets home for just me. Like I just sit on my oh, phone. Good on you. Yeah, well I have to good like mentally, you. otherwise I just see by then I'm mentally fucked. Like yeah. I, excuse my friend. Mm. But by that time I'm just like, nah, I need to get up early. Mm. So I get up at about four o'clock and then the kids wake up at about it's so hard when you've got a newborn though, because you never know what's gonna happen. No. Um but at the moment they wake up at around about six thirty seven. So those couple of hours that's the only way. Yeah. That is the only way for me to get done. Because by yeah, like the afternoon I'll do I'll, I'll do certain things, like I'll go for a walk or something, but say like work things doing for me or like other things that are just like a little bit of a task that I want to do mm. I'm like I will not do it in the afternoon no you're yeah, more of a really. morning person yeah definitely yeah. yeah see I'm kind of like <laughs> I'm in that middle ground where I'm neither yep. yeah <laughs> I try and imagine that I could do it at night time and then I get to about 7 p.m. and I'm like I'm so tired I put a block on and I watch some kind of show mm -hmm. can you see the camera so yeah, at night time, I'm, I always have like schedules and plans to edit and then I don't and then I don't want to get up in the morning because I've gotten up like three times during the night yeah. with Winnie. So I'm kind of like in that phase of I need those days when Darcy's in daycare. Mm -hmm. And I just, other than Instagram posts, I don't work in the night or yeah. the morning. Yeah. At the moment. Yeah. I know that once my sleep schedule gets back on, I'll be able to prioritize Definitely. that better. And you'll appreciate it so much. You're like, oh my gosh, yes. I forgot how good it was. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've told myself four months, when Winnie's four months, mm -hmm. I'll start more of like a this is what bedtime is, this is yeah. when we wake up. But I'm yeah. just trying to like make sure that I'm playing with him actively during the day. It's hard when you're wanting to do stuff. Like say today, yeah. if you had a proper routine or whatever, yeah. you couldn't just, so yeah, it's it's a hard one. It yeah. is. It's so personal. Yeah. It's everyone's different and that's what I think is funny as well. So I can, what we're talking about is like I'm routine and Katie's like, I'm just winging it, it winging wing it, it everywhere. And I'm like <laughs> routine, like I started with my kids like routine, like Mm -hmm. This is what time we get to bed. I do some routine, so like, yeah, bed bath, um, bath bed. I mean, yep. we've always did that with Darcy. We've always oh done. God, you morning. would laugh at me if you saw. Like, I I'm really going to show you. I have written in my phone exactly what time Lincoln woke up, exactly what time he needs to go to bed, like to like ten o five on my clock, rather than like rounding it up or rounding it down to ten o'clock. I love that. <laughs> that is how routine. But I that am. must be like how you get stuff done because that it's is the it. only way. That is it. And like, I mean, like I said, the early days, I would just like hope that Link would nap when Miller napped and mm. try to get things done. But it's always a hope, though, isn't it? Yeah, like, that's never it. Reality. But even today, I, but I said to you, I was like, Link is starting to shift his nap, so I don't really know what's going to happen. And mm -hmm. we are. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> The juggle of everything is so hard to say until it's in your own routine. Like you'll just figure it out. Like I tried to juggle is just the perfect word. Yeah, it really is. And like I heard people say before we had the baby, before we had the baby, before we had money, um, that you would prioritize whoever needed you more the of most, the time. Yeah. And it's so true. And I'm actually finding that it's actually the toddler that needs me the most. Yeah. Because when he sleeps way more than I remember yeah. ever Darcy sleeping, and I yeah. think it's because of the reflux that he yeah. had. Yeah. Um. So I'm finding that it's just your situation will help you find that juggle and that balance. Because yep. if someone had told me, you spend an hour with this one then, and then you do this with this one oh, then, no it just way. wouldn't work that no. way. And that's another question I always get asked. Like, they're worried about how they're going to love their second baby mm. when the first, or like that sort of thing. Like, mm. how am I trying to explain it? Yeah, how are you going to find enough love for both kids? It just happens. It does, hey. But I remember feeling that. Like, I remember being like, right before Link was born, I had a couple of, like meltdowns, and I was like, I don't know how, you know, how I'm gonna go having the whole thing. I melted down the And I felt down. so bad for Miller. Like, mm. I always just felt like that mum guilt. And then he came along, and I was like, nah. Like, yeah. it's just, yeah. Well, I felt the mum guilt too, because I was like, did I start trying too soon? Yes, like, I, yeah. Did she get enough of me before another one comes in? But then we're giving them the gift of a, a sibling. sibling. Yeah, for sure. So Molly Levi has asked, would you do it again? Like two under two? Yeah. That's a really hard question. I know, question I was answer. thinking the same. There's um, pros and cons. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so actually when I think about it, how I feel about it is at the start, it's really, 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 really hard. Yeah. Like the first, until he turned one, yeah. really, really hard. 
Once they get a little bit older though, I feel like it's kind of easier because they're so close in age that they're still liking to play with similar things. Yeah. What do you want, Bubba? And their naps will join yeah, together. Yeah, that's it. So it's kind of like there's so many pros and cons. Would I do it again? Yep, definitely. Not for a third. Like I wouldn't do it in that much chaos. Yes. So for the first and second, yeah. Yeah. The, if we had another baby, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. if I guarantee that I'd get the same baby, like if I could get Winnie yeah. again, I would do it a year later or maybe six months later. Yeah. But I wouldn't change it because I love Winnie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. so hard. Yeah. Like, and the thing is as well, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss because that's how you end up trying for another one. You're like, yeah, I can do it. Oh, and I can do it. It's like, how good is this? Like you, yeah. like you just love and. Honestly, I feel like between one and two, babies are so good. Don't yes. you think? So that's kind of when I got the bug. I was like, wow, she's amazing. Like, I love having, like, babies. I went 10. Like, they start just, learning so much. Like, oh, walking, it's just the best age. And then that's when it always gets me. I'm like, yeah, I want another one. Yeah. Um, this time you're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the shits and gigs, I've got to get a donut bite. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, my God. Are they good? Mm.